गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग सर मैं ऑडिबल सर यस गुड इवनिंग ऑल यस सर ओके गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग अह हियर इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच वी हैव लेफ्ट आउट इन द लास्ट क्लास ओके सो दिस इज द लास्ट क्लास रिलेटेड टू द प्रॉब्लम ऑन एजेस सिंस why is this not clear somebody is saying why is this not clear check <coughs> my voice is clear right clear sir yes, sir fine uh, please sir, check your side okay if any interruption is there na please check your side if my side is a problem means i will rectify okay fine so here uh, we are going to start with uh, the problem on ages part 3 then after this uh, uh tomorrow uh, i will inform the team members or else straight away myself will give you the 25 practice questions okay so please do the practice questions sincerely it is my kind request to everybody and also try to attend the live classes okay don't uh, purely depend on the recordings uh, i think there are 36 enrollment okay totally but 20 plus people only joining which means that uh, they are purely depends on the recording even though uh, we never ensured uh, any kind of recording i think uh, the details has been provided very carefully okay and also we gave clear instruction that uh, we never encourage uh, recordings okay uh, but uh, due to the few uh, introduction classes and then uh, it's so very important okay so that is why uh, four to five classes we had just done the recordings so please do not expect on uh, also do not rely on the recording that is my humble request to uh, each and every one present here uh, in the recording i am very sure you cannot get a maximum knowledge okay that is a uh, purely your wish and also i am i am very sure that next class onwards i surely inform to the team members that not to record anything and also i am not going to record anything so please i am very sure about that okay since to clear this cz paper you people need a live session that is important okay if you if you face the if you would have faced the uh, a 2022 paper then uh, you could be able to know what is the importance of uh, live classes i do not want to take much time okay i'm moving with the problem okay it's purely your choice <sighs> shall i wait for one or two minutes yes sir yes sir okay We are scheduling the weekly three to four classes. That also people are not taking in the right way. Paying the fees is different. Joining the class is important. Simply paying the fees, but not joining. See, if money is important for me, then uh, I would not waste this five minutes. Money is secondary for me. You people pay the fees, okay? but not running the classes is so no i never encourage recordings please try to save your one attempt that is my humble request to everyone i am not showing my upset i am showing my sincerity and concern towards you people please try to understand that
People done. Yes, sir. Fine. What yes. would be the answer? C. C. Five is to two. Okay. Yes, correct. Five is to two is correct. <coughs> so now let me explain. So here, <coughs> I don't know. So I need to. Sorry. Here I need to. I just give me a minute. <coughs> Oh, sorry find the ratio of the present ages of the Sachin and his daughter so here I don't know the present age what I am doing is I'm just taking the uh, Sachin age as X and then daughter age as D okay uh, initially I have taken X and Y since uh, here it is given as the X years ago and X years ends that is why I have changed <coughs> that is that is why I have changed the okay unknowns so your s and d i am considering so now future so we have done here reading this okay x years ago such an age was four times so here i don't know that <coughs> i don't know that x years ago what since uh, if it is five years ago suppose such is 10 five years ago means five so then we have to subtract that x years so similar thing only we have doing generally therefore x s minus x d minus x okay so now read the statement okay four times the age of his daughter x years ago so this only given so therefore s minus x okay such an age is equal to four times the daughter d minus x just i'm rearranging okay 4d minus 4x then rearranging i'm bringing this 4x to the lhs i'm bringing this x s to the rhs simple so therefore 4x minus x will become 3x therefore 4d minus x okay uh, after this okay read uh, the next statement such in x years ends x years ends means this part you need to do such an age will be twice the age of his daughter ends x years means what we need to add okay so therefore d plus x so this is given so which is given such an age so x plus x 
is equal to twice the dot. Twice means two into dot. Then <laughs> I am just multiplying this two inside. 2d plus 2x. Then I am just rearranging this. Okay. Uh, you can arrange in either way. So therefore, 2d will become here minus 2d here plus x. I am just bringing this uh, x towards the RHS. Then to x minus x. So which is equal to x then minus 2d plus x. So this is the second equation. So after knowing this uh, first equation and second equation, it is easy to find out the unknowns. So just uh, I am solving 4d minus x which is equal to 3x minus 2d plus s is equal to x. So just I am adding since why I am adding since uh, the coefficient of s is also same and also it is the opposite sign. So without changing the sign you can eliminate. Now 4d minus 2d will become 2d. So this will become 4x. <coughs> Therefore, Therefore, d will become d is equal to 2x, right? Yes, d is equal to 2x. Then substitute, substitute in any one of the values, equation number 1 or equation number 2. I am substituting in uh, equation number uh, uh, 1. Okay. So now 3x, so which is equal to 4 into 2x minus s i am bringing this minus s towards the lhs then i am bringing this 3s towards therefore 8x minus 3x therefore s is equal to 5x so now they are asking you to find out the ratio okay so the ratio of uh, sachin age and daughter age so that is the present so present is nothing but the s dot ratio s ratio d so which is equal to s is nothing but 5x therefore here 2x x and x gets cancelled so therefore here 5 is to 2 is the answer so option c anybody having a doubt here sir uh, i didn't do the sum sir i uh, what i did not uh, in in question sachin says was four times me, sir. so mm -hmm. in past sachin mm -hmm. will be 40 daughter will be 10 i took case took like this yes 40, very 10. good very then good. after x years i took case, uh, 10 years so in both the cases x years so 10 years means 40 mm -hmm. 10 will be uh, 50 20 then okay. after in future 60 30 mm -hmm. the ratio are same mm -hmm. one is to two in the mm -hmm. future one is to four in the uh, past so present mm -hmm. will be 50 is to 20 Mm. That is 5 is to 2. Yes, correct. Yes, correct, uh, Raj Shagar. You can do that matter also. So that sir, is the... I also, hmm. Sir, I also did this. Uh, I took Sachin ages 4A and daughter okay. ages A. Okay. And uh, present age is 4A plus X is to A plus X. In future, it will be 4A plus 2X is to A plus 2X. And the equation okay. of the frame for me will come to the Okay, fine. That you are getting the same answer, right? same answers yes very good yes, very good. Sir. yes. you can you can take that uh, try and error method also what rajeshagar has done is uh, he has taken the um, values assigning some values and doing the problem yes correct so that method is also good correct method so this the <coughs> what i what what i have done is just i am doing the generalized method okay you can apply this method to any equations okay any kind of question you can apply. Anybody having a doubt here? No, sir. No. Okay. Shall we move on? To no the doubt, question? sir. Yes, very yes good. sir. Okay, good.
that means you can give the answers. Last class video has uploaded uh, that recording. People just uh, check and uh, tell me, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Part two of uh, part two, uh, I think so. Problem one is that has been uploaded. Uh, provided you the recording link or not? Uh, just cross verify and uh, inform me, okay? Till problem on edges, I will inform to the team to upload. Okay. Till problem on edges. After that, I will give clear instruction to the group. Okay. No more. And also, I will surely inform to the team to collect the remaining fees if they are not regular to the classes. Surely, I will inform to that team. <laughs> So money is secondary, but the people are misusing na, then it is quite difficult. So totally how many people are there here in uh, this question? Four. Four. Four, sir. Yes, four people are there. Okay. So people needed a time or shall we, shall I proceed? Sir, one minute, sir. Fine. Carry on. Some of the ages of I'm not getting sir. Hmm? I'm not getting sir. You are not getting. Okay. So what is the first statement? Sum of the ages of Perth and Q is uh, 10 more the twice the ages of Rashi. Okay. So now listen carefully. I am assigning Perth as P, Q as Q, then this person as R, then Sam as S. Okay. After this, according to the statement, sum of the ages of Pert and Q. So, which is equal to 10 more. More means you need to add. Times means you have to multiply. So, here 10 more. So, which means 10 more than the twice the age of Rush. So, here Rush is twice means 2R. 10 more means we have to add 10. So, this is the according to the statement number 1. Then, according to this one, sum of the age of both and Sam is 5 more. The twice of 
फाइव मोर द ट्वाइस ऑफ द एज ऑफ रशी अंडरस्टूड दिस टू इक्वेशन यस सर अंडरस्टूड सर फाइन नाउ लिसन एवरेज एज ऑफ क्यू एंड सैम सो क्यू एंड क्यू सैम्स एवरेज मींस टू पर्सन्स ओनली राइट देन वी हैव टू डिवाइड बाय टू सो व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 25.5 सो देन क्यू प्लस एस विल बिकम 51 51 ओके देन एवरेज ऑफ ऑल द फोर व्हिच मींस दैट पी प्लस क्यू प्लस आर प्लस एस बाय Four, four people. So which is equal to twenty-seven. Okay. Yes. Then P plus Q plus R 51. plus S will become twenty-four, twenty-seven into one not eight, right? One not eight. Sir, here we can take fifty-one, right? From Q plus S. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Here we can take, we can substitute fifty-one in the place of Q plus S, right? Q plus S, ah. Uh. Yeah, and we can find P plus S equal to P plus R equal to fifty-seven. even see you can you are having lot of options yes you are having lot of options so we need only the age difference between the rashi you need to please focus on this one you need to calculate r and p okay yeah okay r and p simple so now i am just considering these as equation number 3 so these are equation number 4 i am substituting 3 in 4 right yes sir so then it will become So Q plus S will become. So therefore P plus R is equal to one not eight minus fifty one, right? <coughs> Since Q plus S is nothing but fifty one, ah, so bring that towards the R. It's just simple. Understood, ah? If people needed this or not? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. So far. Okay. Fine. Subtract. So here it will become fifty seven, ah. Yes, sir. so you just focus on eliminating the p since we need only r i'm just taking this as equation number 5 so i'm just what i'm doing is i'm solving the so you, you can solve uh, is there any other way shall we sir mm. sir so, actually there we have got q plus s is equal to 51 sir Mm. If we take Q as five um, plus S and substitute in the next term, we'll get it, sir. Huh? Q as Q is equal to. Hmm. Uh, sorry, sir. I actually got confused. No, sir. If we solve the equation one and two, we'll get the answer, sir. Q minus yes. S is equal to five. We'll get, sir. Yes, yes. Of course. Yes, correct. sir. After that, we can yes, derive from that, sir. Correct. One minus two. We will do one minus two. Yes, If you do okay, one minus two, p and p gets cancelled. It will become q minus s. Here also r and r gets cancelled. Ten minus five will become five. Understood? Yes, sir. So take this equation as a uh, equation number six. So Then now uh, we can six solve, and three. Solve three and uh, six. Yeah. Solve three and six. Then q plus s is equal to fifty one. Q minus s is equal to five. Just simply add. So therefore, oh, why we are to subtract? Don't add. Understood? Why I'm going to subtract? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can you can find anything. Okay, it is not an issue. Since even if you subtract this also, you will get a two Q, right? Maybe. Add yes, also two Q. Two Q will become fifty-six. Q will become twenty-eight. Ah. Yes, sir. Sir, twenty-three. Sir. Huh? Yes, is twenty-three, sir. I'm asking about Q. Okay, sir. Then substitute in the equation number six. So therefore, twenty-eight minus five is equal to yes. Therefore, s is equal to twenty-three. Yeah. S is equal to twenty-three. Then you need to identify. The value of p, right? Yes or no? You need to identify yes, the value of, of p. So obviously, you need to calculate a r. Ah. So you can put the value of q and s in the average uh, equation. 
this one uh, you are mentioning about equation number 3 yes sir the average one yeah no here here if we substitute here even if we substitute here na already we have found p and s now then we need to identify sir, we already have uh, we, hmm, we have already found the value of s and q so therefore here we can substitute ah yes sir that's what i was saying okay so we can substitute here then uh, uh you will get a property pass over you get the equation of pnr plus r wait 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 p r yeah. p plus uh here q is nothing but 28 uh. r i don't know s 23 which is equal to 108 uh. then p plus r Again, it will become fifty-seven. No. We already have that. That is not required. This is not required. We need to identify the R. Okay, we need to identify R. Understood, ah? So far. So far. Yes, we have found. We need to identify the. Uh, shall I tell one? Sir, from the second equation, sir. The second equation, sir. Uh, we yes, will get equation. the value of P in first equation. So, here, what Pratish is mentioning, uh, we can substitute here. Okay. Uh, P. Uh, Pratish, in, if, we, if we substitute in the second equation, we will get a P plus R. Uh. Sir, S we know already. So, we will get another relationship between P plus P and R. Yes, sir. then we can use uh, equation number five and eliminate in the form in the form of S, and then we can substitute mm. like with the equation. So then, uh, get the P, what I'm doing is I'm substituting equation number two. If I'm substituting equation number two, we will get a P uh, minus two R, right? P minus two R is equal to twenty three. Here, minus. bring that minus eighteen. Ah, huh? minus eighteen. Yes. Sir. Yes. So minus eighteen. Uh, then we can eliminate by we can use uh, equation number five. Uh. Yes, sir. For R, for R, we can use five. Yes, we can we can use uh, right. Uh. So the four P minus two into fifty seven minus P. Solve five and seven, five and seven. So the four. Uh, then uh, subtract. Okay, subtract means P P gets cancelled. It will become three R. Uh. Yes, sir. Three R. 57 plus 18, right? Yes, sir. Yes, then R it is will equal become 25. R is R equal to 65. 25. No, no, 70. 75, right? Yes, sir. 75, R will become 25. R. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then after this, uh, 25 plus uh, 57, sir. Equation 5, we can R and use. P. Oh, we need to identify the P also. Uh. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a five. lengthy question, right? Yes, sir. So five we can use, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I am substituting here. Substituting R is equal to 25 here. If I am substituting R is equal to 25, then 57 minus 25? 32. No, no, no. Dinesh. 32, sir. Ah, 32, Dinesh. 32, sir. 32, sir. Okay, okay, 32. Then <coughs> R... We know the R and P. Seven. R and P we know. Uh, what is the difference? Seven. 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 So therefore P minus R is equal to 32 minus 25 which is equal to 7. Understood? Uh? People, it's a lengthy question, right? Yes, sir. It's a lengthy question but uh, uh, I think uh, this question was asked in the um, SBA exam, I think so. Okay, SBA. Okay, SBA or a LAC probationary officer. Okay, this question. Okay, anyhow, shall we move on to the next question? So no so doubt, right? So far, no doubt, sir. Fine.
Allah. Sir, I am not getting, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Let others also try. Uh, you just stop. Use some other method. Ratio of the percentage of Amit father and mother. Amit was born. What's your answer, Rashega? A one is to two. A one is to two. Okay, fine. Which method? Sir, trial and error. Trial and error method. Yes, sir. Okay. The ratio of the uh, the ratio of percentage of Amit father and her mother. So Amit father and Amit mother. Okay. Rashagir, you have taken? Sir, 20 present. 20x is to 17x. Present. 20x and 17x. Yes, sir. In past? Okay. Past. Yes. So, this is present? Yes, sir. Fine. So, then the past? In past, uh, 10x into 7. 10x is to 7x. That was also a good question. Uh, according to the first statement, this is over. Amit was born Okay. So Amit what born means water. It's a past only. Understood? Yes, sir. It's a clearly yes, mentioning, sir. not directly mentioning, but so here it is given that father and mother rage. So born means water. So past only. Okay. Uh, when the ratio of his father age. So past. Okay. Father age. Amit father. And the Anil. Ten Amit. Yes. 10x. Ten. Is to seven x. Seven you x. can take uh, some other variable also, not an issue. Understood? Uh? Sir, I took x as three, sir. Uh, so we can simply substitute. Like at past uh, thirty is to twenty one. At present sixty is to fifty one will come if we substitute x is equal to three. So according to this, over. Find the ratio between the Amit present age and his mother's age after nine years. If Amit Amit's present age lies between 25 and 35. So you have taken 30, yeah? Yes, sir. X is 3. I took Amit okay. the age was at present age 30 will come. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. 
then amit father age uh, at past it will be 30 is to 21 yes past if you are that ascending ratio. 30 is to 21 that's right so the difference is 9 yes sir in yes. present 60 is to 51 yes 60 is to 51 51 yes uh, now the question was like uh, amit's present age will be 30 find the ratio right yes sir okay find the ratio because the pro- past and present difference is 30 so amit's age will be 30 past and dif- fa- past and present difference is 30 years no sir yes yes exactly that yes yes correct so uh, we can take amit's present age as 30 is to mother's age after 9 years so present age is 50 amit so amit present age is 30 yes exactly right okay Mm. 30 amit's mother's age after 9 years so 51 plus 9 60 yes correct mm. so one is to two ratio people understanding ah uh, this method people understanding ah uh, this trial and error method first i took excess Ah, uh, two sir, but I uh, Amit says was only twenty, so I took it as three. Then <coughs> if, if you if you are taking na, if you are taking two na, then twenty uh, here fourteen. The difference itself na not nine no. Yes sir, also Amit's present age mm. lies should lies between twenty five mm. and thirty five. So I took three. Yes yes yes, that method also you can do. People, have you understood this method? Sir, I didn't get sir. listen what he has done is uh, he has done the trial method okay what he has done is uh, so according to this statement according to the first statement okay listen i am changing the color so according to this this statement i mean father and mother so they are in the ratio always if they are in the ratio what we need to do we are taking as xx therefore 20x and 17x so amit what born means what uh, past okay So past their father and mother ratio is a 10x and 7x. So according to this, is there? Okay, it is in the question itself. Now they are asking you to find out the Amit's ratio of Amit present age and his mother age after nine years. Okay, what he is doing is he is checking with the difference here. So what is the difference here? 30. What is the difference here? 30. Understood? Yes, sir. So therefore, is taking this as the Amit present age. So that is the thirty. Okay. So here, um, next question is they are asking you the Amit present age ratio. Then his mother age after nine years. At present, his mother age is fifty one. After nine years, her age will become sixty. Okay. After finding out these two, he is simply finding out the ratio. Understood? This one. Yes, sir, sir, but I have one doubt, sir. Mm. If we are taking present age, x mm. means past age. Uh, like both, for both, how can we take x variable, sir? That I am not getting. See, if they are taking as a x, simple. You can take any age. If you yes, are asking, sir. you are you are you are asking, sir, why should not we take y, etc. Uh, uh like that only sir yes sir because every why year, it is not at all required now by uh, using okay. see when you are applying the trial and error method then what is the required of uh, many variables okay sir okay sir is doing the trial and error method only you know understood uh? okay sir yes sir yes sir okay so this is one method so if uh, this method is uh, enough we will move on to the next question if people have to answer Sir, can you tell the other method also, sir? Wait, wait, Malathi. What about others? People, twenty plus members are there. Sir, can you explain this method once again? Like, I didn't get how we got thirty there. After that, I got it. Sir, check the difference, sir. I am doing the next method. Listen, 
so mm-hmm. what uh, what the question is says that i am doing the nest method listen carefully so this is present same thing only i am going to take so present uh, amit father and amit mother is 20x and 17x understood uh, up to this so amit was born means few years ago that ago i don't know i am just considering some x years ago some y years ago if i am taking that uh, it will become 20 minus y then here amit mother will become 17 right so this will become 20x minus y here this will become 17x minus y so this is past understood yes sir yes sir yes. okay fine so this ratio has provided a what is the ratio first 20x minus y by 17x minus y which is equal to 10 by 7 uh. then cross yes, multiply this 140x minus 7y which is equal to 170x minus 10y then it will become just bring this then bring this so therefore it will become 30x so here it will become 3y so therefore y will become 10x understood why yes, equal to 10x so here it lies between <coughs> it lies between 25 and 35 then what would be the x 3 obviously understood 10 multiples that year should be in the 10 multiples understood since it be, it is lies between yes, 25 and 35 Understood, sir. Then, uh, obviously, x is going to be the three. Since ten multiples, if you substitute value of x is equal to one, then it will become ten. It not lies between twenty five and thirty five. If you take x is equal to two, it will become twenty. Uh, it is also not lies between the twenty uh, five and thirty. Obviously, x is equal to three. Even if you put x is equal to four, it will become forty. That is also not lies zero. Therefore, only one value lies here is x is equal to three. Understood? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, then x is equal to three. Substitute here. Then y is equal to three. Ah, uh, y is equal to thirty. So that is nothing but the Amit's percentage. Okay. If Amit's percentage is thirty, then what is our mother age? So seventeen into x is nothing but three. So, which is equal to fifty-one. This is the present age of the Amit mother. Then, after nine years ratio, only asking. Amit present age is thirty. After nine years, so you need to add nine year. Therefore, here sixty. Therefore, again it will become one is to two. This is second method. I have done two method. Uh, I have done one method. Rajesh Chakra has done one method. <coughs> so, uh, you may choose which method is best. Okay. If you are having any queries, please raise. No queries means I will move on to the next question. Fine, I am moving to the next question. <clears throat> I have already mentioned during the online class, people interest is very important. Whatever be, be the class, your college, whatever be. If you are joining to the classes, we have to give the our hundred percent, or else we should not uh, join the class itself. That is according to me. <coughs> I was not well. Okay, from the past. Four days I was not well. Still I am not skipping any classes. It's okay. It's my responsibility to take the classes. If you people know your responsibility, surely yes, you people will attend. It's purely up to you people. Twenty-six people attending, nine absent. Hmm. 
they will realize after december month i know very well i am very sure that when we are launching the new batch i am never ever allow any of this batch members to the new batch i am very sure about that please you do not request to the team member or else myself okay to allow in the new batches no i will not allow in the new batches if you skip the topics which have taught in your batch i am very sure we are going to launch, uh, launch the new batch okay four month course okay we are planning yes we are going to start from uh, august okay that four month uh, classes the fees is fee structure is going to be the same so please remember that your batch is six month four month batch also going to be the same fees but uh, this is the first batch of the uh, year i am spent extending two year, two months extra classes for you people for that four month batch and all i will not take uh, this uh, uh, problem on ages number part three etc i will take only part one and part two simple so uh, when we are doing good things for the people the people has to take it in the right way if you go through the previous year question paper past three years question paper then surely you people will uh, attend the classes regularly Rajesh Agar and all taking the classes, Pratish also taking the classes, um, Dinesh also taking the classes again and again. I know he is not uh, my new student. Those people and all old Dinesh, Ashina. You know, Ashina is going to appear in the 2023 only, but she has taken the class uh, during my uh, last year itself. But uh, Yes, it shows the interest. She also never skip uh, any classes. Vamsi also. Vamsi, Malati, Pratyush, Parminda, Logu, Farshana. Farshana and all, one and a half years before and all, she is taking the classes. So somebody is giving the answer as 55. Fine. <coughs> but your answer is wrong. 55 is wrong. If any other answer, you may give. I'm getting very big values, sir. You are getting different answers. Big, big values, yeah. No. One among will be the answer here. Uh, really i want That's to that. ask you people uh, these questions are looking very difficult sir i am getting 35 sir, it's actually not difficult sir it's like putting on a thinking challenge challenging sir it's doable only sir. fine but one thing is sir, sir, b, is sir. i am getting b 50 years yes pratish correct <laughs> pratish is right if we solve these questions the upc questions will be very easy sir I am very sure about that. And also, you can able to attend uh, any competitive exams. Yes, sir. Gautam's present age is equal to 20% of his father age 15 years ago. Then, uh, Gaurav's present age, brother of Gautam is 60% of his father's age 10 years ago. If the sum of the Gautam percentage and the Gauros percentage is 31, find their father's percentage. So here, I don't know the father's first percentage. Anybody wants me to wait for a minute? One minute. Sir. One minute, please. Fine, 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 fine. Take, take, take. Yes, sir, done. 50 years. 50 years. 50 years. Done, sir. So now listen carefully. Uh, present age of father only we need to calculate. Okay. 
so that is the unknown just consider that as x okay so here after that uh, father's age 15 years ago surely you have to subtract that 15 okay ago right so here move on with uh, this okay now read the statement gautam percentage now gautam's percentage so is equal to 20 percentage of his father's 15 years ago 15 years ago is he will become x minus 15 okay so then 20 percent is nothing but 1 by 5 understood 20 by 100 20 by 100 is nothing but 20 percentage if you know the percentage it's easy to con convert into a fraction so or else just write like this 20 by 100 so the 0 0 gets cancelled to by so it will become 1 by 5 so therefore i'm writing 5 here in the okay so this is the Ga gautam's percentage then gauros percentage is equal to 60 percent of his father's age 10 years ago x minus 10 please be careful here 60 percent 20 percent is nothing but a 1 by 5 60 percent is nothing but 3 by 5 so therefore 3 by 5 into x minus 10 or else you can convert 60 by 100 then 0 0 cancel then uh, you can cancel by using the two table it will become 2 by 5 sorry 3 by 5 so then uh, move the statement if the sum of the Gautam's percentage and the Gauras percentage so Gautam's percentage is equal to x minus 15 by 5 plus Gauros percentage is nothing but a 3 by 5 into x minus x minus 10 then which is equal to given as 31 then I am taking the LCM as 5 okay since both the denominators are common then the numerator is going to be added so then bring this towards the bracket therefore 3x minus 30 so which is equal to 31 simply cross multiply this so therefore 4x minus 45 so which is equal to uh, 155 155 so then 4x is equal to 155 minus 45 then 4x is equal to sir plus than sir Hmm. Plus, sir. then it will become 200. Huh? Yes, sir. Then x will become 50. Since uh, we need to calculate the x only, I am stopping here. Since uh, x is nothing but the father's percentage. So, therefore, x is going to be 50. So, the answer is B. x is equal to 50. Anybody having a doubt here? No, sir. No doubt. Fine. Next question. Shall I move on to the next question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine.
ready with the answers way too much of time Sir, three stone, sir. Three seven, sir. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three is two. Three is seven. Seven. Why not three is to one? Sir, three is to seven. Come in, sir. Fine, we will do. So listen. So elephant was five times the older as. So five times means five extra. I'm just taking in the past. Okay, then 10 years from this one, 10 years from this. So that is present. What is the present now? Elephant under graphy. So 5x plus 10. Here x plus 10. 5 years from now, here from this one, from from this one. 5 years from now. That is future. This is elephant and then this one. So then 5x plus 15. Here x plus 15. Then here now move on to the statement. Now move on to the statement. So elephant, right? Elephant is 5x plus 15, which is equal to twice the age of the graphy. Okay. What was the ratio of the age of the elephant? Okay, first of all, find out the presentation. Okay. So now uh, just find out the value of x here. 5x plus 15 which is equal to 2x plus 30. Plus 15 which is equal to 15. Here 3x. x is equal to 5. Yeah. So I am just finding out the present. Yes, present it will become elephant will become uh, 35. Is it so? Yes, sir. Present elephant is 35. Then G? 15. 15, uh. 15 sir. Yeah. So this is present. What was the ratio of the ages of the elephant under graphy 5 years ago? 3 is to 1. 3. 13. Uh. This is present. 5 years ago. 5 years ago. So 5 years ago means you have to reduce 5 years. So 30 here 10. This ratio only asking 0, 0 gets cancelled, therefore 3 is to 1. Anybody having a doubt? No doubt, sir. So B, 3 is to 1 is the answer. No doubt means I will move on to the next question. Sir, I... uh, can can we do like this? Uh, elephant, giraffe, sir. Uh, elephant ratio will be more than giraffe all the time. So yes. option E, C, D, E won't come. C, D, E. Because yes. in all the three, uh, Elephant ratio is smaller than giraffe. So, first one will be A or B. With this only, we will get out. Uh, mm -hmm. But in past itself, uh, 10 years ago itself, the ratio was 5 is to 1. Mm -hmm. So, only option left is 3 is to 1. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Rashagar, you were right. But uh, in the, if you are teaching now, you, you will not teach that one. Okay. Yes, sir. But uh, since uh, if 30 members are the 300 members are the, all the three, 300 to 30 members need to understand. Okay. But uh, yes, what you are saying is exactly right. Shall we move on to the next one? Yes, sir. Lot of practice required.
டுடே ஃப்ரைடேவா எஸ் சார் எஸ் சார் Jansi can could you able to understand Jansi Yes sir Okay this is your first class that is why I'm asking okay right uh, Yeah Are you I got it difficult it. Are you feeling difficult uh, Jansi No 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 sir I understand Fine 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 If you are facing any issues you may contact me okay Okay okay, okay sure sir Or else or else you can contact the support team also they will help you Okay sir சிங்கிள் ரீடிங் சப்போஸ் திஸ் வாஸ் யுவர் கொஸ்டின் இன் த எக்ஸாமினேஷன் யூ ஷுட் நாட் ஸ்கிப் அட்லீஸ்ட் Yes, sir. Fine. Yes. Present age of son and mother are in the ratio. Okay. Four years ago, the ratio of the daughter age to the mother age. <coughs> when the son was born, the age of son was born, the age of the ratio. Present age of the daughter is eight years. Okay. this question is related to the average concept also obligations okay so you may expect this kind of topics okay so that is what i'm giving this kind of questions so it is clearly mentioned the present age of the daughter okay so therefore i'm just taking present age of daughter so which is equal to 8 yes 4 years ago hmm what is answer 25.63 25.33 yes correct correct 25.33 is right option number c correct So now, um, then, which method you have applied? Uh, sir, I have gone equation by equation. So the first equation that I formed in the past was uh, the daughter's age minus 4 upon mother's age minus 4 is equal to 1 by 9. Oh, fine. Yeah. and then uh, the value of daughter's age is given so from there i got mother's age to be 40 and then very i good. proceeded on so very good yes that is also right <coughs> then so so listen so this is present 
so your uh, percentage of son mother daughter okay so what is the percentage of them 3x your here 8x father you don't know ah don't know right yes, so sir. daughter you know ah eight so four years ago here four years ago listen this is given four years ago which means the past mother uh, uh, ratio of the daughter right daughter is four ah uh? is the four daughter is four since four years ago no one percent eight na then four years back then four then mother Nine age will be eight x minus four ah uh? eight x minus four right am i right this ratio has provided this ratio has provided as 1 by 9 then simply cross multiply this so 40 is equal to 8x so exactly mother's percentage is equal to 8x understood da so therefore mother's percentage is equal to 40 years old listen if mother's percentage is 40 then what is the son age find out the value of x x is equal to 5 yeah. then son's percentage is 15 na yeah. 15 na yeah. 3x na the for 3 into 5 which is equal to 15 understood da yeah? yes sir yes sir now you move on now move on when the son was born which means that uh, 15 years ago understood uh? when the son was born the age of the mother and the father listen age of the mother and father understood or not 15 years back okay 15 years back uh, what is the age age of father and age of mother 5 is to 6 that is the ratio right yes sir yes sir so here you people don't know the father's age then so then sir mother's age minus 15 uh, so that will give the age when the son was born and okay. at that time then mother's age is going to be 25 right 25 and then father's age yes, will be 30 uh, okay understood ah mother age yes sir at a son na son was born so that is 15 years ago mom's age this is equal to 25 ah yeah? so here listen carefully so here 5 is to 6 ratio 25 means we have to multiply the 5 then here also you have to multiply the 5 so therefore here 25 here 30 so therefore father will become 30 understood ah uh, you are calculating father age yes, sir. since it is in yes, the ratio sir. 5 is 2 so therefore father age is 30 okay so then uh, i am finding out the father's percentage father's percentage is equal to 45 ah yeah? yes sir percentage is equal to 45 why since this is 15 years ago then 30 plus 15 is going to be the father's percentage understood ah yes sir okay very good so now the question is listen carefully find the average age of the question is find the average age of family when daughter was born which means that 8 years ago understood ah understood ah yes sir so just i am taking daughter as zero which means that that is 8 years ago 
so eight years ago what is the sun's age seven seven under should have 15 minus seven sorry 15 minus eight so that is seven so mom's age so eight years ago uh, present is 32 40 present is 40 therefore eight years ago 32 father's present is 45 then eight means uh, 37 37 add this three 76 divided by three 76 so three people are there therefore you have to divide by three so it's a good question people need a lot of working people understanding huh? yes sir yes sir <coughs> no doubt right yes sir fine fine no doubt means okay Those are feeling difficult, you need to work out. Or else you need to approach our team members or else myself. You, you may approach directly so that we will help you. Or else after uploading the recordings, please go through the recording again. With a, listen carefully. Don't waste the time in watching the recording by step by step. So just go with a 1.5x speed or else 1.75x speed or else 2x speed also okay since uh, our explanation is very slow only okay therefore 2x speed is also good i'm very sure that in 2x speed also explanation would be very clear okay but don't skip if you are not able to understand anything since later days it's quite difficult to manage the time so that is the thing you need to understand. Understanding upon a new bender loser understanding. Yes, sir. Dinesh, Dinesh, understanding lapa. Yes, sir. Cheripa. Hello, see. Yes, sir. Fine. Grishma, understanding. Half, sir. Oh, wow. Gishma, you need to practice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kerala. Kerala. I know that uh, you are from Kerala, but uh, you... Okay. Knowing Tamil. Yes, very good. Yeah, I know Tamil, sir. Okay, fine. Sir, actually, I will reach into that. Uh, I will get the variables and all, but last answer is in the different sir. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, I will post 25 questions. If people try to practice that 25 questions, okay. if you are facing any issues, you may contact, okay? Yes, sir, sure, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Ashina, what happened today? Today is fully quiet, Ashina. Sir, today I am traveling. <laughs> okay. Farshana. Sir. Hmm. So Option C, sir. Option C. Fourteen yeah. years. Yes, correct. Correct, pa. Fourteen years. Is right. Okay. I got the answer. Um, we will. Shall I move on? Shall I proceed the problem? Yes, sir. The ratio between the present age of Haman and Chan is three to four. The ratio. Of Bevan age after the five years to the Chan age one year ago is four is to three. And four times the difference in the age of Chan and Amun is one more than the age of the Bevan. Find the average of the present age of Amun and the Chan. It's quite uh, difficult, no? If you read one time. Yes, sir. Of course. Listen carefully. So, what is given here? So according to the statement, according to the statement, 
okay ats means according to the statement so percentage right so i'm just writing percentage ratio amount to the churn is equal to 3 by 4 then uh, 4a is equal to 3c okay whatever b okay just keep it like this then move on the ratio of the bevan age five years ago five years ago just five years ago means what say after five years huh? after five years means b plus five yes. to the chance age one year ago chance age one year ago means minus simple so which is equal to four by three simple equation forming only okay then cross multiply this cross multiply so then it will become or else just keep uh, even cross multiply that is also not an issue 3b plus 15 which is equal to 4c minus 4 4c minus 4 then here 3b minus 4c uh, is equal to minus 19 huh? yes sir okay fine yes, sir. So then move on to the next one. Next one. Four times the difference between the Chan and Aman is one more the age of the Bevan. One more age of Bevan means B plus one. Simple. 4C minus 4A which is equal to B plus one. Understood? Yes or no? Yes sir. So far understood sir. Very good. 4c minus 4a okay now uh, substitute listen carefully either you can eliminate this one uh, by solving this uh, you can eliminate you can simplify or else what i'm going to do is i'm just taking a is equal to 3c by 4 right I'm substituting here 4c minus anyway it's a uh, solving only uh, you can solve by using any method so which method we can do listen just take this equation and take this equation add simply if you add now uh, 4c 4c gets cancelled Yes, sir. this is one this is two i am adding 4c 4c gets cancelled then it will become 3a sorry 3b minus 4a so here which is equal to b then adding na minus it will eight. become minus 80 na understood lhs i have added yes sir 4c 4c cancel 3b minus 4a then again it will become 2b uh? yes sir 2b minus 4a is equal to minus 18 okay so then is there any other way to solve this equation we need to identify okay we need to identify uh, so after finding out this uh, sir uh, in 2b minus 4a is equal to minus 18 2b yes 2b minus 4 hmm. so instead of 4a we can write 3c from first one yes sir okay can fine i am just uh, so i'm just taking these as some x okay substituting x here then it will become 2b minus 3c uh, yes. is equal to minus 18 uh then uh, no solving, solving one equation one. number yes. uh, one and this one uh. yes sir so i am just considering this as equation number three the coefficients are not same i am going to make the coefficient as same therefore one into two so it will become 6b minus 8c minus 38 then uh, third equation into uh, three so it will become 6b uh, minus 9c so here three times uh, minus 54 uh. then here minus here plus here plus 6b minus 
this cancel here 9 minus C will become 8 so therefore it will become C then 54 minus so here it will become 16 huh? so therefore Sir. C is equal to 16 after knowing this uh, we need to identify A only okay shall we substitute here we need to calculate the A in X X sir, 4A is equal to 3C. Yes sir, substitute in X. So 4A is equal to 3 into 16. Just I am cancelling this, it will become 4. A is equal to 12. We need to identify the present age of Aman and Chon. So that is the present A by C, right? So obviously you have found this. So therefore 12 plus 16, average means we have to Divide right. So therefore, 28, 28, divided 28 by 2 is nothing but 14. 14. So this is the answer. C is the answer. Anybody having a doubt? No? No doubt, sir. Fine. Sir. Sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I actually uh, used uh, another approach in here. Can I explain that? Here? Yes, yes, yes. Proceed, proceed. Yeah. Uh, actually, I read the first line that is the present age of Amman and Chan is 3 is to 4. Okay. And then I move to the last line. Like, find the average of uh, present ages of Amman and Chan. So, okay. the, what I did is uh, since they are asking the average uh, of just two people here. Okay. So, it's obviously it's going to be uh, Amen plus Chan divided by 2. We don't know what is the actual uh, count. And if you okay. see the options, uh, it is 20, 10, 14 and 15. Okay. The answer is anyhow is going to be multiple of 2 since uh, there are only 2 people and average uh, divided by 2. So, either it has to be 20, 10 or 14. And if you take the ratio, it is uh, 3 is to 4. So, I just uh, multiplied with uh, 2. It, it got uh, 6, 6, 8 and then again multiplied with 3 it became 9, 12 and then multiplied with 4 it was it became 12, 16. So among these three pairs 12, 16 if you add and divide by 2 that, that uh, becomes uh, 14 and uh, from that option uh, that is, is uh, equal to 14 and since it's a uh, multiple of 2 with that also we can verify that option C is uh, answer. Okay, Satish. Satish, okay, uh, mm, but in your point of view, uh, I'm saying that uh, yes, your understanding is yes, correct. Uh, you may approach that, uh, but uh, yes, fine. Satish, it's fine, but uh, in all the sir, cases, are you able in, to hear me? yes, in the all the cases, is my voice breaking, sir. No, 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 you are clear. Satish, you are clear. Am I audible? Ah, yes, sir. Fine. Uh, yes, yes, Satish, you can you may proceed that also. Okay, okay. Sir. But uh, uh, but in the, all the cases it's quite difficult to apply such a thing. Okay. Actually, sir, I also did something similar, but I was not sure, sir. Hmm. Because uh, I directly added these because of these are the ratios. So I was not sure whether I can do that or not. So hmm. 4 plus 3, 7 by 2 is 3.5. In hmm. the option, only 14 is the multiple of 3.5. Hmm. But I was not sure. Yes, yes. But, uh, but some logic, uh, people, those logic and all, uh, in rare uh, rare cases only, it will help you. But not uh, with the, all the cases. In your... If people have to learn the proper procedural way to identify the answer, that is my suggestion. Okay, uh, to both of you. Okay, but don't uh, okay, do sir. that. Don't do that as uh, things in the examination hall. Please, don't do. Don't apply those things in the examination hall. Uh, Satish and Pratyush. Yes, sir. Fine. Okay. okay. Don't take a risk. In that situation maybe you can uh, while doing practice uh, you may but uh, uh, it's quite difficult in that examination and all uh, surely you people will not think in that direction I'm very sure about that 
will you people think in such a direction in the examination hall no obviously not since uh, in that pressure situation surely you people will not uh, think uh, those ways but the practicing is uh, that will uh, help you but uh, not please uh, you both uh, do not apply those things in the examination hall it is my kind suggestion to both of you sure sir fine so here uh, four more questions are there uh, just see here shall i give this four more questions uh, here along with the pdf uh, yes. so that you people may try na since almost 10:30 uh, now uh, okay sir uh, i may okay, proceed sir. i may proceed but uh, if you may feel tired if you may feel sleepy because uh, some working proportionals are there so they may feel sleepy etc so i do not want to take much time uh, but uh, anyhow um, at the neck end okay uh, we will go by 11 o'clock also but not uh, uh, beginning stages okay don't worry um, i am just giving this uh, slides uh, four questions here uh, please practice these four questions uh, if you are facing any difficulties with uh, these four questions or else you, if you need uh, uh, answers also you uh, welcome okay or else you can approach the team members they will give you the solutions if i am uh, free na then i will also respond okay not an issue okay then after that uh, tomorrow i am surely giving you 25 questions so or else uh, i already informed uh, to the team members to provide 25 questions but uh, hopefully they will provide tomorrow okay i uh, know i will cross check with the question paper then uh, uh, we will post tomorrow okay Okay. Okay. Practice those questions also. So next class uh, uh, on Sunday, uh, we will start the direction sense test. Okay, that is also very important topic. Okay, don't skip the classes. Attend the live sessions. One and a half hours spending for the classes for that is also very important, especially for the CSAT. Um, that is my kind suggestion. The rest is uh, your choice. Okay. Thank you all. I am concluding this session today. Um, good night to everyone.